Now, we can come up with a, another set of rules for subtractions, but there'll be too much things to remember. So we opted to do, anytime we have subtractions, to apply the same rule of addition, except with one change. And the change is, the rule says, if you want to subtract A minus B, instead of subtracting them, you can change this actually to addition and take the opposite of that number and apply the rule of addition. An example, if I want to do 10 minus a negative 2, the 10 is going to stay the same. The first one stays the same. Change the subtractions to addition and take the opposite of negative 2. What is the opposite of negative 2? Positive 2. And now apply the rule of additions. How do you add 10 plus 2? Both numbers have the same sign. What do we do? Add them and keep the sign. What's the answer? 12. So there's no reason to come up with a new set of rules for them. Just apply that rule every single time. If I have 2 minus a 5, this becomes 2. Change the subtraction to addition. And what is the opposite of that? Negative 5. 2 plus a negative 5. Different signs. Subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger, 2 from 5, which is what? 3, and what's the sign? Negative. So I'm just going to do some examples. The whole thing is the, the key is that step right there. Change the subtraction to addition and apply the same rules. You try this one, negative 12 minus negative 15. Three, Three let's see. This is going to be negative 12. Change this to addition. Change this to positive 15, right? Different signs, subtract 12 from 15, which is what? 3 and what's the larger? Positive. Good. 8 minus 12, another one. Negative 4. Negative 4. Why negative 4? It's 8 plus negative 12. Subtract the smaller from the larger. 8 from 12, which is what? 4. And what's the sign of the number with the larger absolute value? Negative. Very good. Negative 8.1. Minus 7.6. Let's see. We just negative 15.1. 7. Let's see if you're right. Negative 8.1. The first number stays the same. This becomes plus, and this becomes what? Negative 7.6. Notice the two numbers have the same sign. We add them and keep the sign. Negative 
negative two thirds minus one fifth. This becomes what? Negative two thirds plus plus what? Negative one over five. Change the subtraction to addition, the opposite of that number. Now again, if you want to add or subtract two fractions, you need a common denominator, which is fifteen. I gotta multiply this by five to make it fifteen. I gotta multiply this by three to make it fifteen. So that becomes negative 10 over what? 15 plus negative 3 over 15. These two numbers have the same sign. We're going to add them. What's 10 and 3? 13 over 15. What's the sign? Negative. And the signs are the same, we add and keep the signs. Now what happens when you have a chain of them? Like three, four numbers to add and subtract. Negative two minus negative six minus negative eleven. Notice the first number I don't touch. There's a subtraction, this becomes addition. And what's the opposite to negative six? Six. This is subtractions becomes addition. What's the opposite to negative 11? 11. And again, you can apply any method. You can take the two positive numbers, add them into one single number. What is six and 11? Different signs, subtract the smaller from the larger. Two from 17, which is what? 15, what's a sign? Positive. You try this one. Change, let's, the first number stays the same. Change this one to what? Plus and change this one to eight. Change the subtraction to addition. Change this number to what? Negative 15. So the subtraction becomes addition. It's always the opposite of the number after. These are two positive numbers. We can add them together and make one number out of that, which is what? 13 plus negative 15 different signs. Subtract the smaller from the larger. 13 from 15, which is what? Two and a sign is negative. Very good. What about if I mix and match? I put subtraction and addition. Let's put the two sections together. A couple more examples, then we're done with this. Negative seven minus negative one plus five plus negative three.
I see a subtraction right here. So that becomes what? Addition, and that number changes to the opposite of negative one, which is what? One. These will stay the same, why? Because they're all positive, it's all addition. That's addition, that's addition, I'm not changing them. The only one I'm gonna change is the subtractions. Now I get four numbers. I can take the negative numbers, put them together, make one number out of them, which is what? Negative 10. Take all the positive numbers, make one number out of them, which is what? Six. Different signs. Subtract the smaller from the larger. I'm talking about absolute value here. Four, and what's the sign? Negative. Negative. Again, look for the subtraction, change it to addition. That's still addition, so there's no change here. Here are the subtractions, make it addition, the opposite of that number. So in the first step, that's the only thing I'm changing. I'm gonna take the three positive numbers, make them one number, which is what, 23, I think? There's only one negative number. Subtract 6 from 23, which is what? And what's the sign? Positive, because it's a positive number. Have time for maybe one more problem, maybe two. If you were doing this problem, which, which step would you do first? Five minus three, right? Order of operation, PEMDAS, five minus three. Let me do the five minus three. I'm gonna write that what? Five, well we know what five minus three, which is what, two? But I'll write that fl five plus a negative three. Subtract three, three from five, two, and that's a positive. So you end up with 10 minus the two. What's 10 minus two? That's an eight, or 10 plus a negative two. Different signs, subtract the two from 10, which is eight, and the sign is positive. So if you have parentheses, you gotta do what's inside the parentheses first, get an answer to that, then the problem becomes 10 minus that answer. 10 minus two, that's an eight.